to be in VIP mode. Every month, your goal should be to hit your VIP bonuses pretend VIP bonuses because that's how you climb the ladder in this company, then teaching others to do that same thing. One of the things I, I love, Jamie Pekka always says, we don't want to leave money on the table. And we don't, right? We're always going to try to run after those VIP bonuses when it comes to somebody new. We want to help a brand new person, if possible, get one or two of those bonuses. Because when we can do that, that puts money in somebody's pocket within the first two weeks of signing up. And that could be a big deal. That can raise belief level in them. Um, it can make them get more excited about the business. When you see a paycheck, it's like, wow, I, I, this, there's something here, right? Like I could do this. Maybe like what more could come if I continue to do this? So we don't want to leave money on the table, but here's the deal. Everybody hits their stride in this business at different times. And if you've never done network marketing before, if this is your first time coming into a business like this, you're just starting to build a market. Unless you owned another business, unless you somehow have a ton of Facebook friends and you've networked some other way, most of you are starting here, way down here. You are just starting to learn how to build a network. Right now, it's basically your friends, your family, your warm market. That's what we call those people, those people you already know. You might have 500 friends on Facebook, maybe 1,000. Most people, that's how most people start. That's why we get involved in this. We're gonna teach you, right? That's why you get on these Zooms. That's why you keep in touch with your upline. That's why you make sure that you're plugging in, watching the training videos in the cloud office. And if your team training has training videos, that's how you're gonna learn. We're gonna teach you how to build that market over time. So for a lot of you guys just starting out, you don't have a market yet. So it might not be so easy to go VIP 800 or 1600, right? It sounds easy. Oh, two customers, two promoters, that's easy. It's not. If you're brand new and you don't have a market yet and your friends and family are not being the most cooperative, um, some of you guys may have already figured out friends and family aren't always the most supportive people in our lives. Um, I know when I first started, my mom and my sister were the last people to come around. They said, oh, those are pyramid schemes. We don't want nothing to do with it. You're not going to make any money. The people around me, my warm market, they were not supportive. And I almost quit over that. Um, I don't know how many of you guys on here almost quit because of what someone else says, but here's the deal, guys. 90% of people that quit within their first three months of starting in a network marketing company quit because of what someone else said to them. They quit because someone got in their ear and said, oh, that doesn't work. I tried it. That, that company's crap. Oh, that's a pyramid scheme. Oh, you'll never be successful. Those things, no one makes money. People get in your ear. That's what my mom and my sister did to me. And I remember thinking, gosh, if my mom and my sister, the two people in my life I trust the most, are telling me I'm dumb. Maybe I am dumb. Maybe I shouldn't do this. That's how easy it is to let someone get in your ear and make you quit. But I want you guys to know that we believe in you. That's why you get on these Zooms. Your mom and your sister and your friends and, and anybody that's not supporting you right now, they just don't get it. They don't understand yet. What you need to do is show them that this is not some kind of hobby this isn't something that you're going to start you. today and quit tomorrow. No, it's I can, not I got it. going to be you. something that you're you're just kind of messing around with. What's up? Yes. Yes. What's wrong? Unmute. Hold on, Ryan. Ryan. I'm unmuted. Lisa, you're muted. Some of you, you're going to have some people supportive right out of the gate. Some of you are going to have people that go, yeah, I'm interested. Right away, you're going to put your first post on Facebook, and you're going to have a ton of people messaging saying, I want that. But most of you, if you've never done something like this before, it's not going to be that easy because you have to prove to people this isn't a flash in the pan. You've got to share your story, other people's stories, using stories from the fan page, using stories from other people on the team, um, doing lives, making sure you're making posts. It's going to take time for people to trust you. So you may not grab one of those VIP bonuses, or you may. But what I want you to know is there is a way to do it, a way that I teach that I feel like no matter whether you have a market yet or you do not have a market, it's a way that works for people. And I wanted to share that with you tonight, and then I'm going to let everybody else kind of chime in. Um, you know, anybody else, I'll let you chime in too, and Jess. And, but one of the things I do, and I want you guys to remember this, I'm going to teach you this, this system I use to help my people get their VIP bonuses. And um, 
and what I still do today, I still do it. But I also mm-hmm. want you to, guys to remember this. If you're doing the right things, plugging in, building your network, and you are growing, eventually you are going to hit your stride. Eventually, it usually gets about a year in with new network marketers that they really hit that place where they're, they've been consistent, they've been doing all the right things, and all of a sudden, all these people that have been watching you that you have no clue or even watching you start to want more information. And then all of a sudden, your mom and your sister and your war market that told you you're crazy, I don't want that, they start seeing you post, you got an auto bonus and they start seeing you post that you're on this uh, vacation or whatever, they are gonna go, what is that? All those people come around. My mom and my sister that told me I was crazy 10 years ago are now my biggest supporters. And now people that you know jump at the chance of, what are you doing? Tell me more about it. Like they take me seriously because I stuck with it because I got serious about it. You treat this like a business, you'll make business money. If you treat it like a hobby, you'll make hobby money. It's really up to you. Um, so with that said, I wanna teach you my method that I use to help people go VIP at 100 and 1600. Um, and really for me, I always tell people when you're new, it is so extremely important that you are doing this the right way. You've got one shot with your warm market in the beginning. You will not get another one until you're making money, okay? So what do you want that one shot to count? How many of you, it, knowing that you probably only have one chance to pitch your mom, to pitch your sister, I hate the word pitch, but we're gonna use it right now, to pitch your best friend, wouldn't you want that one chance you have to count? Because you probably aren't gonna get another one until you're making money, until they see the fruits of your labor, they're gonna go, okay, maybe this does work. But until then, you've got one chance and you don't wanna blow it, right? You're new, you don't wanna throw up all over them, right? You could say too much and then they're gonna be like, what is she talking about? You might not say enough and then they're gonna go, I don't get it. Like, I don't get what's going on here. Maybe you're not excited yet, you don't have much of a story because you just started and you, know, you feel like you're uncomfortable talking about it, you're afraid they're gonna ask questions you don't know. Here's what you have to do and here's what I make my new people do. And you guys, whether you're in your VIP period or not, this Zoom is so huge for you tonight because you need to know what to do when you sign a brand new person in order to put them in a position, the best position possible to help them get those VIP bonuses, okay? So I like, I like to call it the favor card, okay? Your friends and family do not wanna buy what you have. Nobody wants to be sold and nobody wants to buy your products. If you scroll through Facebook, Instagram, everybody's selling something. The second your friends and family hear that you are selling something, they're gonna see the phone call and they're gonna go, uh, mute. I don't want to answer that because she's going to want me to buy something. I just heard she's selling something, right? Nobody wants to be sold. You don't want to be sold. I don't want to be sold. So what I like to teach my new people to do is something I call the favor card. Now, the first thing I do when I sign up a brand new promoter before they even get their kit, okay, I want to set people up for success. We all know that that 14 day clock starts 21 days if you're in one of the other countries, but we'll talk about the 14 day clock here in America. Once you purchase a kit or once somebody under you purchases $100 or more in product, boom, your 14-day clock just started. I want my new promoter to have as much of that 14 days as possible to work on getting those bonuses, right? So I like to do these things before they actually purchase the kit. Just a little tip. Because if I do them before they purchase the kit and we've got a list of people and we're getting ready to go, then... We can attack those people and and even get maybe two customers and two promoters ready to sign the second they sign up and purchase their kit. That way we can buy ourselves some time and they've got even more days to to go and grab VIP 1600. So I like to get on a face-to-face Zoom. If they're in your city, if they're close to you, I highly suggest that you get person to person. Come over to my house for coffee. Let's meet at Starbucks. Get in somebody's face, but we all know most of you guys are meeting people through the internet, strangers you've never met, face-to-face like this, okay, guys? This is how you're going to build a relationship. This is how you're going to relate to that person better. This is how they're going to feel like they're not just a number or another person you signed. Set up a time. The first question I ask my new person that's like, I'm ready to sign up. Okay, when can you get on a Zoom with me? When's your next, uh, when do you have 30 minutes that you can talk to me on a Zoom or a FaceTime? If they're like, oh, not for two weeks. How, how serious do you think they're going to take a business if they have to wait two weeks to get on a call with you? You might want to rein them back in and say, eh, let's wait a minute. You don't seem ready 
to do this yet. Like if we're too eager, let's wait, let's wait till we talk. Okay. But if they're excited, they're going to say tonight or tomorrow, this time, perfect. Get on a FaceTime. I tell them to have a pen and a piece of paper ready. And this is what I do. I sit with each person and I say, I'm going to go through each one of the products with you. And when I'm going through the products and telling you what they do, if somebody in your life pops in your head, a coworker, your mom, your aunt, your sister, your cousin, your neighbor, I want you to write their name down with that product. Yeah, I go through the Thrive Experience. This is what the Thrive Experience does. This is what Rest does. This is what Form does, the Thrive Skin, right? And they're writing names down. They're like, oh, my mom, she needs rest. And then my sister needs this. And my neighbor, she drinks too much coffee. She needs a Thrive Experience. And then this person, oh my God, they're always buying skincare stuff. They'd be my the girlfriend at work, right? They're writing people's names. Then I teach them how to play the favor card. And so what they're basically going to do is I teach them not to message, but to either use the voice recorder or even better yet, call the person, call them. And the conversation looks just like this. Hey mom, it's Lisa. I've got a huge favor to ask you. Don't beat around the bush. Nothing like that. Like get right to the point. What do most people say to you when you, when you ask them for a favor? I know I say, well, sure. What do you need? Hey, what's up? Anything you need? That's our natural response when, response when somebody asks for a favor. Now, if I call my mom and said, hey, mom, can you buy this from me? <laughs> She's going to say no. But if I say, hey, mom, I've got a huge favor to ask you. Sure, what do you need? They've already committed, pretty much. I'm going to say, well, here's the deal. Teach them to, you know, how to share their 30-second commercial, okay? What's a little bit of their story? Well, mom, you know, a couple weeks ago, I was scroll throwing, scrolling through Facebook. My friend, don't ever say upline, my friend Lisa was she posted about she's using something that was helping her aches and discomforts in her knees. Well, you know how I've been struggling with my knees. Well, long story short, she sent me a sample of this stuff in the mail. And oh my God, mom, in two days, I felt the hugest difference. Long story short, I ordered it and I want to share this with other people. So my favor is, is the product also helps with sleep. And I know you're on Ambien and whatever. You're going to know each person's story. This could really help you. I'm looking for somebody that I trust and I'm looking for somebody that will give me their honest feedback. And I know you, mom, you're going to tell me the total truth to try this for one month. Just somebody that I know is going to tell me what they're really feeling and if they like it or not. Would you be willing to do that for me? I can get you a huge discount. No, like there's no strings. You don't have to keep ordering it. Nothing like that. It would mean so much to me. Yeah, I could do that. That is how I have them approach each person. It's called the favor card. They know exactly why they're approaching them. I teach them the wording. I make sure that they're voicing it or the, the best thing to do is call or do it in person. And I'm telling you, if they have a list of 10 or 15 names, their coworker at work, their neighbor, their mom, their friend, I promise you four of those 15 people are gonna go, sure, I can do that favor for you. Okay, she's gonna be. I'm going to tell you right now, four of those 15 names down are probably going to go, okay, yeah, I could do that for you, right? They don't want to buy what they're selling, but they want to help you. Everybody wants to be the person that helps somebody. And then the same thing with promoters. Who do you know in your life that needs to make extra cash? Think about those people. Who have you worked with before that has good worth ethic and you just think would bomb this out, rock it out? Who do you think that, who's done another business like this before? Um, who knows a ton of people? They're just that person that has like 5,000 Facebook friends. They just know everybody. I have them start making a list and that they can use the favor card the same way. Getting involved with something, I'd love your opinion. Do you mind if I put you in a chat with my friend Lisa? She can explain it and you can tell me what you think. There, there's a million ways, like Stacey Weisenberger says, there's a million ways to the beach. There's a million ways to have the conversation, but it's really just walking them through that. And then the last thing that I tell a new person when it comes to VIP 800 and 1600 is make sure that you are utilizing me. You don't, a new person, if you are new right now, none of us are expecting you to know what you're doing. We don't expect you to know what to say. We don't expect you to know what's in it. We don't expect you to know where to find anything. You're new. You shouldn't know any of that yet. The only thing we expect you to do is be excited. And the second you share that excitement with another person and they say, what is it? Immediately get them on the phone with your upline, get them in a chat with your upline. Say, you know what? I don't know. I'm just excited because it's helping my knees and I'm sleeping. Let me get you on the phone with my friend Lisa, or let me put you in a chat really quick with my friend Lisa, or don't even ask. Just put them in a chat with Lisa and say, Hey mom, I know you were asking me about that patch I was wearing. This is my friend Lisa. 
she's been doing this longer and she, I just wanted you to hear her story. Okay. Boom, let us take over, let us do the work. And you know what's gonna happen? You're a new person, you know how that's how you're gonna learn. Okay. You're gonna hear what we say, how we say it, what we do. And guess what? That's how you're gonna learn what to say and what to do. So VIP 800 and, and 1600, there's no magic, okay? It's making lists, thinking about people you know, not being afraid to reach out, using that favor card, utilizing your upline, and just running for it. Don't be that new person that says, well, I don't wanna post on Facebook because I don't wanna turn anybody off. You know what, you're gonna get unfriended. I'm gonna let you know that right now. In this industry, you're gonna get unfriended. And that's okay because people that unfriend you because you decided to better your life and do a business were never your friends, okay? So just know that you're gonna get way more people interested by posting and sharing and doing it in a non-spammy way, which we can teach you how to do that. That's why it's so crucial to plug into this stuff. And then, um, yeah. Hmm? Wrapping up. Okay, I guess I'm wrapping it up. <laughs> Hold on, but wait, okay. it's plugged in, so you gotta be careful. Okay. So low battery. So wait. Yo, 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 you baby. Pop. Hey, you come and give me your kiss. Better make it fast or else I'm gonna Straight get Straight up. She's hey, making kiss. Hey, no. Let me go. Let me go. Come back in there. Say something. Hi so guys. You guys. So <clears throat> I've been in this business for like three years. I didn't hit one bonus and I want you to never like feel that you have to hit a bonus and that's what it is but you're in your VIP 800 and if you hit it I mean that is amazing if you don't don't ever stop I want you to be consistent just be consistent in this business I want you to just constantly show who you are and what you're doing at all times I mean you need two promoters and two customers and like Lisa said it's not always easy people are always going to judge you but as long as you're feeling good and you're doing good and you're doing everything that you're supposed to do you are going to make money in this business it's residual I mean you just have it coming in so I don't want you to feel like well I didn't hit this bonus or I didn't hit this VIP and now you're not worthy uh like don't you ever feel like that um it brings money it brings you you feel it you feel your vitamins you feel what you're feeling in life you feel how you're feeling and you need that and when you're showing that and you're constantly posting but you have to be consistent on posting if you're not going to post what you're feeling, you're not ever going to hit anything, okay? Anything. So you're going to have to feel, feel and post at the same time. So I want you guys to do that. And, um, making a bonus is not it, but I'm telling you, that is everything it is such easy money it's the easiest money that you will ever make in your entire life ever i love trina all right you guys so now we're going to get down to the, nit the nitty and gritty okay what hey, do steph. i have what hey step i want to also make sure that we cover um one of the things that i see that is important in the success in someone going VIP 800, VIP 1600, and then going to that 4K is the power of duplication. You know, we get to that point where I see so many people, they hit that VIP 800, they hit that VIP 1600, and that's what they came in for. They came in for them, and it's so important that we understand the second that we're running for VIP 800, VIP 1600, that first promoter that's part of that first part of that bonus, we're working with them to get their two customers, to get their two promoters, so that we don't lose time. And that's where I see kind of the gap. And let's be honest, when we see people 
not hit those bonuses, they feel like they failed. They feel mm -hmm. like they have missed out on something and they don't understand. We can talk to people that have hit 40K, 80K, 200K, and they, you know, we can hear it all the time about, I didn't hit my first bonus, I didn't hit that second bonus, but that's not how the mind thinks. Mind thinks is, you set a bonus before me, and I want to achieve that. So I want to make sure that we focus on that tonight, because the people coming in, when you hit, not even that VIP 800, when you get that first promoter, you should be working with that first promoter already starting that process of duplication. It is the power of duplication in this industry. It's not the power of the post. It's not the power of the filter. It's not the power of, um, you know, what you're going to put on Facebook or even what you say. It's the power of creating that duplication. And I know that it seems so cliche. I get a lot of people that say, you know, I can't hear one more time. Do the do to get the get. Well, here's the thing. You've got to do the duplication to get the get. So I want to make sure that we focus on that because a lot of times we're thinking in our, our mindset, VIP 800, VIP 1600, okay, what's it going to take to get me to 4K? No, what it's going to take for you to get to 4K is that person that you brought in and here's, here's one of the things, Steph, I want to interject and just kind of add to is we have to understand, did those people come in? So if Steph has, you know, her good, you know, her good friends, she has her mom and they said, you know what, I'm going to order a promoter pack and I'm just being honest. This is what happens. Hey, Steph, I'm your friend. I'm going to order a promoter pack, but I'm just really not going to work the business. You've got to weed those people out. You've got to look at even in a VIP, VIP 800, VIP 1600 structure, if you don't have but one person that wants to work and run, we've heard it time and time again, one person can change the face of your organization. So I know we're talking about VIP 800 and VIP 1600. And to be honest, being in six, six and a half years, that's not where I see the gap. Where I see the gap is going from that 1600 to that 4k so i want to make sure that we cover that and i didn't mean to interrupt but i wanted to make sure that we we did definitely focus on that part you know one of the things i want to say too chess is you're so right like people will come in and they'll sign you know their mom says oh i'll help you out and then their sister signs i'll help you out and they go vip 1600 and 800 but then they don't go 4k because nobody they signed i signed my mom my dog my cat you know and then it's like none of those people actually wanted to work the business you guys i, I always say this i would rather somebody not get those bonuses and move slower and sign people that actually want to work because in the long run that's what's going to make you climb the ladder in the company and that's also what's going to make you get residual income that sticks versus a VIP bonus is only one time, guys. You get it once and it goes away. It doesn't come back the next month. But if you go 4K with good people that truly wanted to work the business, that's 4K check comes every single week, right? So just remember, I think it's important to remember that it's not about a race. You're, who are you racing against, right? I think we come in and we're, we kind of look side to side, especially if we come in with a friend, maybe they're moving faster or moving slower. Don't compare your journey to anybody else's because you are gonna move at the pace you need to. I've watched people come in and kind of move slow. Somebody else come in around that same time and they're kind of kind of gliding along. They go 12K, 40K. And then I watch that person that was kind of not doing much fly to 200 and go right past the 40 because they found the right person. Take your time. Like, don't take your time, but I mean, like, go for it if you want to go for it. But also know that it's about the amount of time you're putting in, guys. You can't expect to this to be a business that's profitable if you're only going to work it one day a week. Be consistent. Work it through the nooks and crannies of your day and work it every day, even if that's 30 minutes. But don't only post once today and then not again for a week. That consistency is what is going to inconsistency is what's going to make it take you even longer to climb the ladder i don't know if you guys want to add anything so now we come to the question we come to the question like when i first joined i i thought who am i going to get to join hold on hold on
No, this is your phone. No, I was making sure you were. Oh. So when I first joined, I told Lisa, like, who am I going to get to join me? Who is going to believe me? Because I came from a different network marketing company and the products they, they prove themselves you guys and so the thing is like lisa just said you have to be consistent you have to get these products into people's hands but the key is is to start with people that you know okay start with your friends start with your families those that you know that could use that extra week weekly paycheck those that you know that could use that extra energy that that weight loss, that just to feel good overall, that extra sleep, everything. Hey, mom, I know you haven't you haven't been sleeping great. Like you have to try these products. These products could change your life, mom. In the first three days, this is what it's made me feel. Be real about these products, okay? Don't like. I I know to us thrivers that these products are like the best things that have ever happened to us. But tell your real story. Be you. Be true. Like for me, the duels don't work. For others, the duels do work. For others, um, for me, the burn, <laughs> the burns make me feel crabby. But for other people, the burn like helps them with weight loss. They help with the extra energy. It is okay to say what exactly these products do for you. Don't ever like over exaggerate the products in a different way but be real about these products be real be real be you and be true and they don't have a story because it's like come say that okay okay so ah, I just don't like sorry that's gonna work and if you don't have a story i think a lot of people are kind of scared that i don't have a story yet or you don't feel like it's as good as someone else's i'll have people like well, I've only been on it two weeks or three days and I decided to get started and I don't feel like I have enough of a journey to talk to my friends or family about it. If you don't have that motivation yet, God, I was motivated with chastity. I wasn't even on the product yet in the company. And me and Chas went to a, um, like a, like a spa type thing for a weekend and she was selling it. And by the end of that weekend, I was passionate about it. Just hearing the story she was telling, I was so worked up. That's why we have the fan page, guys. That's why if you get on these calls, why mm -hmm. Zooms are so important, you are gonna hear so many different people's stories and what these products have done for them. That's gonna get you the fire and the motivation. If you trust us, if you trust the friend that, that said to you, thrive with me, and you're not getting the results that they're getting, or they haven't kicked in as much yet, you trust them, right? You believe their story. That, that excites me. That should excite you. Go to the fan page, utilize stories from the fan page, read through them, and you are going to get excited. It's going to ignite a passion in you to want to share this with other people. Find that passion somewhere because I can tell you what, nobody cares what's in these. No, no very few people are going to go, so tell me exactly what's in that and how it works and, and be serious about it. They just want to know that you feel good and they want to feel good too, right? Their, your excitement is what is, is going to sell them. Be excited. It's not about what you know. I, I still don't know what's in these. I've been doing this for three and a half years. I cannot tell you what is in the patch. I'm like, what? I don't know. Like, here's the cloud office. Go create an account. You can go look yourself because I don't know. All I know is that nobody's died. <laughs> it feels dang good. And every time I put it on, I feel amazing. I have the best day ever. That's what they care about. Most people, we talk about this all the time, but I'll share my story and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I just want to be, I want to be as excited as you are. I want to feel the way you're talking about. That is what sells. It's your excitement, your passion. So if you're missing that excitement and you're missing that passion, it either means A, you haven't been on the products long enough or you're not using the products. How many of you are being a product of the product? How like many legit being a product of the product. Right. Not just using the products when you right. want to, but using these products every single day. Using these products into a way that it they work for you and telling people how they work. And like Steph said, they, they some that. product she doesn't work for her. You don't, it could be the skincare. It could be just the rest. We had people, I think Chas was saying, I can't forget who it was, that people were signing up just off of, oh, it was Natasha. Natasha was like, she had people that just signed up to be a promoter over Activate. And they hey, were passionate Lisa. about Activate. Hey, Lee. Go ahead, Jess. I want to say something. You know, we always learn from people 
hopefully we learn from people that may have made previous mistakes. And if you know my story, I came in just for the product. And I wanted to research. I wanted to be a product guru. And it hurt me so bad because people would say, like, I'm not going to sit there and research that stuff. I don't, I'm not a medical professional. And so it really did hurt my business. So if I can encourage you in something, um, understand what, like, for example, know what the, the capsules do for you. Know what the lifestyle mix for, does for you. Know what the regular DFT does for you. I know for me, the ultra, I was teasing with the girls today. I was like, Oh my gosh, I think I left my my capsule packs at Natasha's house. And Seth's like, girl, I got you. I got you some men's capsules. I'm like, men's capsules. You were teasing? That was yeah. a, that was a real thing? I'm like, men's capsules make me crazy. So I have to understand what each product does for me. So when you get a BOGO or you get something, try every product. Hey, every product is not going to be for you. Every, you know, I, I love that shirt that says I'm not for everyone that, you know, some people sleep amazing at night. They don't need our rest. Some people don't need our form. Some people don't need our balance. They go to the bathroom on their own. They're, they're big girls and big boys. So, you know, but you have to know at least one time you can say, I took this product and here's what it did for me. So understand. So I love what Lisa said. And for me, I tried to be the product expert because that's why I came in. I didn't want to hear about compensation plan. I didn't want to hear about VIP 800. I didn't want to hear about anything. I wanted to know how can this product get me out of bed? And so then I started researching. I wanted to know the ingredients and people stepped back from ordering from me and they would order from someone else because they're like, oh, I can't do that. I, I'm not, I, I can't research that much. So Lisa, it's so true what you're saying. Don't try to be an ingredient guru. Yesterday, Stephanie had a question and I said, hey, they can go Google till their heart's content on CoQ10. I see Courtney Good is saying same with me. Courtney Good is a product ingredient junkie. So she has to learn to shut her mouth. I mean, that is one of the hardest things for somebody that's passionate. If you start talking to Lisa about compensation plan, it's she has to learn to shut her mouth because she gets so excited. And maybe that person is not interested in being a millionaire. They just want to make an extra $200, $300. And that's what we have to understand. What is the solution to their situation and we have it whether it's ingredient whether it's product or whether it's opportunity and like i said with thrive like i never knew my body i never knew my body like i i oh i never knew my body like i know it was hard. Hard. i can help anybody get my hair on hold on are you back just make sure you're okay. You're good. Okay. So like when I started Thrive, I didn't know my body. I didn't know anything. And so when I first started taking Thrive, I was like, oh, this or this or that. Like, I just, you learn your body, you learn your body more and more. So what works for some people doesn't work for everybody. This product is actually made for everybody, but you're going to know your body more and more. The more that you just take the products and learn it. Um, like I can take balance, but everybody else can I'm take balance. It doesn't know what you're using. Um, you know. can take, um, you know, You have, you learn your body when you're taking vitamins and that's all that I have to say on that. Just learn your body. You know, well, one of the things I want to Trina, one of the things I want to, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to tell Trina, you learn your body and then you learn the changes in your body. Guys, yeah. I, mean, I know the majority of us around here are women. And so our body will do changes throughout the month. Right now, many of us are in a stay at home, stay put season, and our body's doing different things. So you may not need burn right now. If you're laying on the couch and you're not doing anything to burn energy, hey, 
You need those capsules just to get up, take care of your kids. You need that gut support and you may need just regular DFT. Understand that your body is changing, your surroundings are changing. And I, I, I literally told Steph yesterday when she had that, it was a molecule question. And I said, look, they are gonna need to understand that one, I know it sounds cliche, just experience the product, but I don't know where you are. The product is simple capsules, lifestyle mix, and DFT, but I may be moving my body. I may be hydrating. Somebody may be laying on the couch. Somebody's eating Oreos. Somebody's eating junk food. Everybody's body is going to be different. So what Katrina said, you have to know your body, but then you have to know your body when it changes. And I cannot tell you because you're probably not going to share your truth with me because you're just getting to know me. So Let's try you on the first three simple steps and let's get you started on the first 30 days. And remember, if it's been, if you've been struggling with this issue for 10 years, I'm not going to fix it in 10 days. If you've been struggling with this issue for 30 days, I'm not going to fix it in three days. So understand it's those three steps that everybody has to come into and then it's duplicate. It's duplicate. The power of duplication is what's going to get you to the success level that you're looking to achieve for your family. Um, yeah, and I also wanted to touch base on two other things. One thing Cass said is, you know, finding people's needs. That's really the way to connect with them and talk to them in the beginning. Those of you that are looking for your customers and promoters, you maybe have been in a year and you're looking to sign your first customer. Have you been focusing on you know, really looking at people on Facebook, what they're posting, what have they been posting that they need or dislike or hate or their wants? Look for that want, need, or hate. And remember, people buy things from people they know, like, and trust. Are you making those connections, building those relationships? But I also wanted to point out that, you know, not everybody is going to, not everybody is going to want the Thrive experience in the beginning. And, you know, when I first started, one of the biggest mistakes I made personally was I forgot about, we had other products. I was like, oh, if I talk to them about the Thrive Experience and they shot me down, I just stopped. I, I didn't like go into anything else or share that we had other products. I was thinking, well, if they don't want the Thrive Experience, I guess I can't sign them as a customer. Just know that, get your foot in the door. You know, when, when you're talking to somebody about their health and they seem interested or they message you, and if they say, you know, that's too expensive, um, I just can't afford that right now. Well, tell me what you are looking at monthly to put into your health and wellness. If, if I could help you with your sleep, what would you be willing to spend? That way you kind of have an idea of what they're willing to spend and go to a plus line product because I'll tell you guys what, getting somebody in on something like balance or rest, wow, they, they see that works. Now they're suddenly willing to trust you that if this worked that good for them, maybe the Thrive Experience does work and you'd be super surprised on how those people that couldn't afford it now can suddenly find the money because they saw what balance or rest or activate did. And now they want to upgrade and, and try that the next month. So just know that there are other products. Don't think that you have to sign your first four customers with the Thrive Experience. Don't think they have to, but the easiest way to get to VIP 1600 or 800 and 1600. And what I always teach people is two customers with the Thrive Experience two promoters, one with a 400 pack, one with any pack, that always will equal VIP 800, and you can do it with the least amount of people. Um, and then the same thing for 1600. So um, just a little tip, because a lot of people are like, how do I do it with just the four? Now you can do it with more than four. So if you're new, know that it doesn't have to be just four, you can do five, six, or seven. Once you hit that 800, after you have at least the two and two, you'll reach that bonus. Um, is there anything you guys wanted to, else to touch on and add i mean we could go into there's so many things you know but i want you guys to know that it's going to be your excitement and it's going to be your confidence people do not know whether you've been doing this especially if you're talking to an acquaintance or somebody that you don't know well they don't know if this is something you've been doing for a day a week five years yeah they don't know if you're chastity chastity marie that's been in for six years in the millionaires club or if you're brand new and starting today, they don't know that. So the, you know, I always tell people, it's not like I walk around outside that has a shirt on that says, I know what I'm talking about. I'm a millionaire. You should buy my product. And everybody just says, yep, I'll do it. They don't know if, who I am, what Lavelle is. They don't understand 200K. 
the chances of me signing a, somebody on Facebook and you signing them is the exact same. Well, why am I more likely to sign that person than you? Because I'm excited and because I'm confident, because I tell them this is what you need and this is how we're gonna do it. And people are looking for someone to tell them what they need, right? They, they know that they wanna lose weight. They know they've tried other things before. They know they wanna sleep better at night. They know they want their aches and discomforts to go away. However, they have tried other things and they have not worked. They're looking for that person that's gonna go, this is what you need and be confident about it. Don't be, you know, <laughs> don't say things like, well, it's a little pricey. Well, I know I thought it was a little expensive at first, but you're already starting out and implanting in their brains that this is already expensive. I always say, oh my gosh, you weren't, as soon as they ask me about the price, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the best part. You're gonna die. Every time I tell somebody how, how, what the price is, they're like, I cannot believe it's so cheap. It's only five bucks a day. Not only that, but you can get it for free and you can get it free. You're only gonna pay the first month because after this, I'm gonna help you get it free every month. Most people only pay for their first order. You're gonna die when I tell you how inexpensive it is. Most people, their jaw drops. And, and they're like, really, what is it? And as soon as I say it's five bucks a day, they're, you're, they're like, that is, that's cheap. It's all about how you say it. It's all about your confidence, your excitement, and telling people they need it, you know? Make sure that, especially if you're new and you're out there and, and you're sampling and, you know, you're trying to run for VIP 800 and 1600, make sure you're putting value on these products. Don't pay for people's orders. Don't pay for your first customer's orders because you're trying to get, to get the VI, the 660. Guess what? You're not getting 660 because you just paid for their order, so now you're losing money. Like, it's not worth it. I, the key is you have to be passionate about these products. You have to be passionate about what you do. Okay, so putting your mind to something is going to take you such a very, very long way. Um, hopping on these Zooms. If you're hopping on these Zooms just to show up, you might as well not even hop on these Zooms. But if you're hopping on these Zooms and these trains to legit learn from them and take advice from Lisa and from Chas and from everybody that you hear on these Zooms, then you're going to be successful. Don't just show up to show up. Do the do. Do exactly the things that we're telling you guys to do. Try them. Yeah. Try what Lisa's saying. Try what I say. Try what Katrina just said. And you guys are going to find out what this business can honestly do for you. If you're saying, hey, shit, Steph, I'm stuck. I don't know what, I'm, what, what to do. Okay, how many people are you getting on Facebook? When was the last time you hopped on a live event? When was the last time you even sent out a mini experience? Uh -huh. Okay, the thing that you can do to send out minis is if you post a giveaway just for a two day mini sample, you're going to find out how many people are actually interested in this, in this product. Um, no matter- And they made it so easy. You guys don't even have to mail them out anymore. You can do this from your cloud office. And if you started with a 400 kit, now they're giving away, I think 10, free mini or samples that you can send out through the cloud office if you get the 400 pack pretty sure i think um I, you're so right because the thing is is that the the important thing to do is get out products get product in people's hands and make sure you're putting value on it and make sure you're excited and plugging in everything stuff just said because i know so many people that will get on i see them i see them on every zoom I see them get on every live and they're all excited and they're like the number one thriver of the year, but yet they're not signing any customers or promoters. And they're coming to me like, what am I doing wrong? And when I say, well, how many new people did you, did you friend request today? How many people did you say hi to and happy birthday to? And how many people did you go out of your way to? And they're like, well, nobody, that's why. Because you're not taking the time to, you're taking the time to get on and that's great. But now you got to go to that extra step. If you're not building your network, if you're just having the same people in your network and you're not expanding it, then you're not going to grow. Like even for me, our team's about to do almost a million dollars in sales this month. Okay. I still add two to 300 people a day and I delete at least a hundred people. I delete anybody negative, anybody that doesn't have a Facebook profile picture. I add those that look like people that I want to connect with. So I, I get this question asked, you just asked me earlier today, well, how do you add that so many people a day? Um, I go and I type in a random name, like Stephanie Johnson, Stephanie Anderson, Stephanie Brown, something like with a very common, common name. I look at their profile. If they look decent, like not flipping off the camera, not, not smoking weed, nothing like that. I, I'm just saying like, you get so many of those people. <laughs> what face That's all you get. Like, <laughs> Yeah, am I missing? 
Facebook play, uh, pages where people are smoking my in their pro profile picture. No, I don't want to All right. Anyways. I'm dying right now. I mean. No, I know what you're saying, though. Like, I look at people. people if they've got more than to. a thousand friends, one of the things I look at when I do what you do, like, if I'm in groups and I'm about if to friend pretty, someone. Not sharing shit every five minutes. Yeah, if I go sharing, look at their actual face. If they're posts, sharing shit every five to seven minutes, I'm like, dude, I'm not going to even waste my time. I right. just go right past them because that's look like somebody. Look yes, post. You have, if it they have a lot of likes and comments, that's a person mm -hmm. that people follow and watch. That's a really good person to friend request. Um, you've got to make sure that you're adding new to your network Where every day. That? that is the key. That's the key. New All to right. your network every day. Oh, can you? Oh, I'm going to ask you. I will have you mute out. Um, adding new to your friend, friend list every day is going to be important, especially if you're new, no, especially if you're trying to grow your network. The most important well, thing is, is that you... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I know you are. Hold, hold on. on. Hang it off. Okay, here we go. So the, one of the, I think the most important things, I tell people this all the time, you cannot know a thing that's going on. And as long as you know how to send your website out, as long as you're consistently posting on Facebook and adding new people, eventually your business will grow. Like if you're not adding new people, you're staying stuck in the same place where you started with your same warm market, with the same people you started Facebook with, Instagram. Every day you've gotta be rotating people into your life building those connections, building relationships, because if you're not, you will run out of people. Um, one of the first things that my upline told me when I joined network marketing 10 years ago is you need to make a list of people. And if that list ever stops growing, you're in trouble. And I was like, oh, what is it? Like, I need to meet people. If you are ever not adding names, you might as well just hang up your network marketing hat and, and go on your merry way because you are not going to grow if you're not constantly networking, this is networking. It's not net wishing, how do net you, hoping, net sitting, how do you net frame. I tried all those things. They don't work. How do you personally add to your network? Do I you do, do. Well, when, before COVID, I did a lot of out and about. Um, but, and we just added somebody the other day in the airport that asked oh, us. Remember? You guys, that's all that we did. So it was me, Chas, and Lisa. We were sitting in, where were we? Minneapolis. Minneapolis. No, it's Salt Lake. Salt Lake it's the girl with the dog. We were sitting there and we just started talking out loud about this business and about these products and about our travel time. And Lisa and Chess were talking about Natasha's place, just talking out loud. And this girl goes, hey, I hear you guys talking. Can I ask it what it is that you guys do? All of us. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was pure quiet. We all looked at each other and we all looked at Chess. Chess, <laughs> what are you going to say? So we sat back and we listened to what Chess said. And she was just like, like, hey, we're a group of women. We get together. It's network marketing. We change lives. We love to empower people and make people feel good. And so here we're going to meet up with her in Lake Tahoe and we're going to give her some, uh, give her a mini because she wants to try these products. But that's all that it is. If you're feeling like social media is not working for you, get your ass out. Go well, talk and I to do. People. I do groups. But like you said, I'm very picky. Groups so don't work for me. My biggest tip is, you know, I, I teach it all the time. What are you passionate about outside mm -hmm. of Lavelle? Make sure you're joining groups about those things that you have value to offer when you get in the group. One of my first things I do when I get inside a group is I make a hello post. I'm Lisa. Thanks for letting me in. Can't wait to get to know you all better. And I end it with an open-ended question. So let's say it's a hiking group. I'd be like, oh my gosh, thanks guys. I'm so excited to be part of the group. I'm a, I hike all over the place. I live in Arizona. My favorite hike was um, Superstition Springs Mountain. Where was your favorite hike? I'd love to know because I travel a lot and, and I wanna you know take note, whatever. I always end with a question. Then I watch that post for 24 hours, comment, connect with people, and then I, go through. I click on each name. I see how many friends they have, if their profile is public, if they seem like a person that I would connect with besides hiking. Friend request them, add them to my list, make them a C first, and now I start building the relationship. That's pretty much how I've gone, gone about it. And, you know, I just did a, um, I just signed 12 customers. Well, I signed one promoter and 11 customers yesterday. It's true. I got a video of her doing that. And I was on my phone all day for a day and a half. Mm -hmm. But all I did was made a post on Facebook. And then right after you make the post, start with the A's in your friends list on Facebook. And anybody not in Lavelle, click on them, go to their Facebook page, 
like a post, heart a post, comment on a post, go to the next person. All of those people that I, it was all those people that I, they weren't seeing my stuff. They weren't seeing any of it. And they now saw that post. It, that works because you guys realize, let's say you have a thousand friends, 200 of those thousands are seeing your Facebook posts, 200. And most of those people are probably Lavelle people because that's who you're interacting with the most. So you need to make sure that you are doing a power hour after you make a post. So make a post about Lavelle, do a power hour in your Facebook friends list of anybody not in Lavelle, start at the bottom, start with the Z's and go up. Um, I only got to C's. That's how many when you have 5,000 friends. And I couldn't believe how many people I didn't know were my friends. That high school, people I met six years ago, and they, they weren't seeing anything. And all of those people, literally in a day and a half, I signed 12 people. Um, so yeah, it, it works. It's just, it's time consuming. It's work, but, and that's where it starts. And a lot of those people started with balance or balance and sculpt. They didn't want to do the Thrive Experience, but that's okay because I know once I keep in touch and follow up and do what I'm supposed to do, they're going to fall in love with those two products. And next month, I'm going to get them to buy the Thrive Experience easily because they're going to go, wow, if these two things work and I trusted her, I trust her with the Thrive Experience. The thing, with, the thing is, the main key is with, when going VIP is staying consistent, stepping out of co your comfort zone. Getting in contact with those that you know that could use an extra weekly paycheck, extra energy, a good night's sleep, and weight loss. That's all. That's like the key right there. Right. If you don't hit your VIP, guess what? There's 4K. There's 12K. And what happens when you hit 12K is you get that auto bonus, which means Thrive is going to pay for your vehicle. So you miss bonuses, you get bonuses. We've all done that, all of us. Um, but the thing is, is you stay consistent and you, you run with it. It's a mindset thing. And if you see the vision, if you believe it, you are going to achieve it. Amen. 100%. Chaz, you want to end with anything? Did you get on Zoom? She maybe does. What I'm here. I just want to say, you know, just keep doing the power, the power of duplication. Lise, can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. The power of duplication, that's what I can't say enough is remember it's about how can we help the next person and how can we help that next promoter come in and hit that bonus. So, you know, that's that's the focus. And I know it sounds so, so simple, but that really is a key to success. Amen. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you and thanks for getting on. And um, <laughs> it went all right after being on a boat all day. One of us didn't drink. So, you know, which is I, because all of you guys that know me and travel with me are like, did hell freeze over? Lisa's the sober one. But yes, it's true. Um, you guys, thank you guys so, so much for hopping on with us, spending the last hour with us. Hopefully, if you're new, you got a couple tips um and tricks and if you don't vip if you never vip'd i hope every month your goal is is just to keep it simple don't change the name of the game don't reinvent the wheel this is try to vip every month that is what i've been doing since i started in lavelle every month i do what chas told me to do the day i started sign two customers sign two promoters teach them to do the same thing that's all i think about that's all I do. I don't complicate. I don't care what's in it, how it works. None of that matters. Just two customers, two promoters, do it again. Be excited. Other people around you are going to want to know what you're excited about. They're going to want some of it too. When you prove yourself, when you stay consistent, it, it'll all work out. It'll all come around. All right, guys. Love you. Have a good one. See you. I think, Steph, you do this every week, right? Every Monday at 7 Central. Next Monday, 7 Central. Bye, guys.